All right, so today's video is going to be step one of mask making. What you are going to need is a mask form like this. You are going to need two sheets of paper towels, some tape, your paper mache paste, and you're also going to want to grab a big bucket of paper for your table. So the first thing we are going to do is take our mask frame and we are going to cover it with paper towels. Now you are going to take one and put it on the front and you're just gonna kind of tuck it behind and tape it down. You wanna make sure that it's snug so that when you go and put your paper mache over it, it's gonna be nice and flat and you are going to be able to see all of the features on your mask. It's okay if you have a little bit of tape showing because we are going to go over that and it's also okay if it's not even, the second piece can just cover it a little bit better. So we're gonna do the same thing and you just want to make sure that it is completely covered with the paper towel. This is going to make the inside of your mask all the same and it's going to look really nice inside when you are all finished. All right. So the next thing you want to do is you are going to write your name inside on one of the pieces of tape. If this is separated a little bit, you can also add a piece of tape there. So you are going to go inside and I am just going to write my name on one of the pieces of tape. These are all going to look very identical in the first few stages, so you wanna make sure that you have your name in there. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to start applying the paper mache. I cut these in really long strips for you guys, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is you are going to want to break them into small pieces. I know that it seems easier to just go in and use one large sheet, but trust me, you're not gonna be able to get into all of the grooves, so you are going to want to rip up a bunch of small sheets of paper. The next thing you are going to do is take your paper mache paste, and I like to start adding a little bit right onto the mask first itself, and then taking my paper and smoothing it in. You don't wanna to use too much glue, but you do wanna use enough to saturate it so that your newspaper is not dry. And this is the reason we're using really small pieces, so you could really push in where the eyes are and where the nose is and everything like that. Now, this is just gonna act as an armature for our mask, meaning it's gonna just be the underneath or the support for it, and we are going to go ahead and build off of it as we go through the project. So, something that's really important, and I am not going to go into all of the details uh, of this mask right now, is that you want to make sure that you bring it down and that you wrap your newspaper around. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna smooth it in. Wanna make sure that you really get it in the crease here. And then you're just going to wrap it around the edge of the mask so it looks something like that. Now you are going to go through your whole mask and continue paper macheing with the newsprint and you are going to want to do three full layers of this. Really make sure that you're pushing into all of the areas so that it gets nice and accurate and you have that nice armature. So a few things to keep in mind. You want to make sure you're using enough paste that you're pushing into all the seams and that you are overlapping the edge. So when you are all finished, it is going to look something like this. This is one that's completely finished and it's ready for features to be added onto it and we are going to go over that tomorrow in the next video.